Claude 2.0 is here, man, and it is far superior to Google Bard, and it is more proficient than ChatGPT, GPT-4, in certain areas, man. Without further ado, that's enough talk. Let's jump into using Claude 2.0. So, as we can see here, man, one of the new updates for Claude is that they can handle 100,000 tokens of text. Let me say that again, 100,000 tokens of text. For reference, ChatGPT can only handle around 8,000, and Google Bard can handle around 10,000 tokens of text. So. 10 times the amount of text that ChatGPT and Google Bard can handle. That's already an absolute game changer, man. We're going to be looking at one of the longest books in the history of mankind, man. The Holy Bible. The entire book of Genesis, we downloaded it, man. And let's see if Claude 2 can answer some Bible trivia for us, and let's see how fast they can do that. So, man, we have the Genesis PDF. We're going to ask who is captured during the battle near the Eastern Kings and who rescues him. As you can see, Claude 2.0 has an answer for us. Based on the Bible passage, it seems that the person who was captured was Lot. Bam. And that took about three minutes, man. It took three minutes for it to go through the entire book of Genesis and find us that question. Who saved Lot? But let's see if they have it. Abraham rescued Lot by gathering 318 trained men. So they answered the question and also provided us with context, which is absolutely insane, man. Shout out to Claw 2.0. But let's go over to Google Bard, man. And as you can see, man, you can't even upload a PDF to Google Bard. It won't even let me upload my PDF, which is absolutely tragic. Absolutely tragic, guys. Tragic. You can't even upload a PDF to Google Bard. Trash. Trash. And as you can see here, man, with GPT 3.5, you can't even upload PDFs. So you would have to use GPT 4 to upload PDFs, which is crazy. So another thing that has been updated within Claude 2.0 is understanding foreign languages. So I have some phrases here in Spanish and Portuguese, and we're going to see if Claude understands them. We're going to ask Claude, what does el mismo pero con diferente color mean? And excuse my Spanish, you all. Spanish is not my first language. And as you can see here, man, we have our answer. It says, el mismo pero con diferente color. It's a Spanish phrase and literally translates to the same dog with a different color. But it is used to refer to a situation where something or someone appears to be different on the surface but remains fundamentally the same. So bam, man, Claude 2.0 was able to understand the phrase and then give us context about what the phrase actually means, man. When you say a phrase, man, a lot of phrases have different meanings behind them, and, and Claude 2.0 is smart enough to understand that the phrase el mismo con diferente color actually has a different meaning behind it, which is crazy. But man, we're asking Google Bar the same exact question, and let's see what it comes up with. Wow, I'm actually impressed with Bar. It actually answered the entire question in Spanish, which is crazy. Uh, en español, el mismo pero con diferente color significa el mismo pero con di un color diferente. So they didn't really, they just said it means what it means. That's the question in English and he gave me an answer in Spanish, so not 1000% what I wanted. Next man, we're gonna see how each model responds to up-to-date information. So we're gonna ask ChatGBT. GBT, as you all know, tells us that they cannot let us know what the current price of Bitcoin is because their knowledge cutoff is September 2021. Let's see what Claude comes up with. As you can see, man, Claude 2.0 gives us an estimate. It says the current price of Bitcoin is $23,685. The price of Bitcoin fluctuates often, and bam, that's all you need to know, man. They can actually give us a price of Bitcoin 2023 July. ChatGPT can only give us a price up to 2021 in September, which sucks, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, that absolutely sucks. Boo, ChatGPT. Last but not least, we're gonna test out the non-verbal capabilities of these LLMs, man. First, Claude 2.0, we're gonna ask it, what's the square root of 2,420,520? Let's see what it comes up with. See, asking ChatGPT that question, it gives us 1.5556.84, which is actually wrong, man. The answer should be 1.55.8 is the correct answer. So, ChatGPT was very close, man. They got 1.556.8, but really should be 1.555.8. So, ChatGPT almost had it. 
And as you can see here, man, Bar gives us a step-by-step -step of how to complete the problem. And they give us an estimate, so they rounded it to about 1,560, which is unfortunately not the correct answer either. So, as you can see, man, Claude has some work to do. So, I would probably go with ChatGPT for math, especially with their new code editor update. Abs an absolute game changer, man. I'm not gonna lie, that's an absolute game changer. And it makes math that easy, man. You can also use Wolfram for ChatGPT for math, which is absolute instant, man. A great tool that you can use as a plugin. We will be talking about ChatGPT plugins soon, man. Stay tuned. I got y'all. So we asked ChatGPT, a shop offers a 20% discount on top of a 30% discount. What is the overall discount? 56%, which is unfortunately wrong, man. The answer is around 44%. So I don't know why, how ChatGPT came up with that, but I know if we were using the Wolfram plugin, man, it would get that ASAP, no Rocky. So ChatGPT is pretty much useless without plugins, man. With plugins, it turns into a whole different LLM of cap. And as you can see here, man, Claude 2.0 has the answer correctly, man, 44%. And they break it down step by step by step. More steps than ChatGPT, as you can see, man, way more steps. And they got the answer right, man. 30% discount plus 20% discount is 44%, man. Basic math. Ah, Claude 2.0 blows ChatGPT out of the water, as you can see. Claude 2.0 blows ChatGPT out of the water with their nonverbal abilities, context handling, and ability to provide up-to-date information such as the price of Bitcoin today. Without further ado, man, that is Claude 2.0, man. You can use this for free right now. Anthropic.com, man. You can go to Claude AI to get started for free. Without further ado, man, this is the creator of Quam Family. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, man. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm posting more coding videos, more AI videos, more stock videos, man. Whatever you guys want to tackle, we will tackle it, man. We will get to that 5K. Thank you to everybody, and I'm out of here. Hey, the winning niggas tryna act tough. If I don't really know him, I'ma tax him. Bitches in the back made him lap up. Everything ain't fucking make him get out. I'm tryna run a couple million, get a big house. Everything I've been through got me here now. I can't wait to bust my wrist down. For them days I had to walk new bands now.